Good evening and welcome to the News at 10. Tonight, Nigeria out of recession after five consecutive quarters of contraction in the nation's economy. Presidency welcomes news with cautious optimism. We begin tonight with a story that may brighten the hopes of many Nigerians and probably rekindle confidence in the economic growth plan of the federal government. And that is the fact that the country is out of recession. That's because the National Bureau of Statistics claims that the economy has grown by 0.55% in the second quarter of this year. This is 2.04% higher than the rate recorded in the corresponding quarter of 2016 and higher by 1.46% points from the rate recorded in the preceding quarter. The Statistics Office also attributes the economic recovery to the performance of four main economic activities comprising oil, agriculture, manufacturing and trade. Oil GDP recovered significantly from minus 11.63% in quarter two of 2016 to 1.64% in quarter two of 2017, while non-oil GDP grew marginally at 0.45%. Agriculture grew 3.01% in quarter two of 2017 from 3.39% in quarter one of 2017, while manufacturing retained its positive growth for the second consecutive quarter in quarter two of 2017, growing at 0.64% while trade, which has a dominant share of GDP, remained negative at minus 1.62%. Now, following the late passage of the 2016 budget, as well as a fall in global oil prices dovetailing into 2017, Nigeria plunged into a historic economic recession. After five consecutive quarters of contraction, the actions of government to salvage the situation through effective monetary policies and fiscal decisions in the second quarter of 2017 resulted in a recovery. Our correspondent, Temple Ashaju, reports. Nigeria slipped into its worst economic recession in nearly 30 years during the first quarter of 2016. The meltdown was blamed on factors that include the falling global commodities prices such as oil. After five consecutive quarters of contraction, Nigeria looks like digging out of recession. The National Bureau of Statistics reports that the GDP grew 0.55% or 2.04% higher than the rates recorded in the corresponding quarter of 2016 with 1.46% improvements in the preceding quarter. As it was likely as a result of agriculture maintaining its performance, uh, manufacturing retaining its positive growth, which it also did in the first quarter, and a recovery in oil production. I think oil production is the first in last five quarters, and we know that directly and indirectly the oil sector contributes about 50 to 60 percent of the GDP. So an improvement in the oil sector will have an overall impact on the overall um, GDP for the, for the economy. During the period, Nigeria's oil production was estimated at 1.84 million barrels per day, representing a significant upgrade of 1.64%, while the non-oil sector grew by 0.45%. The chief economist and CEO of Financial Derivatives Company, Mr. Bismarck Rewane, describes the recovery as good, but too soon to chair. Nigerian women give birth to 14,000 babies every day. So we still have to increase our production to over 2.8% to actually be equal to the amount of new mouths that are coming in every day. And also we need to grow at about five about uh, above 5 percent to absorb the unemployed. For the statistician general, the latest figure represents a step in the right direction. You have to first get out of recession, which is positive growth, and that's anything from 0 0.0001 whatever percent positive. Then from there you start to recover. My definition of recovery is going back to where you were before the slump, which is basically where you were 2014 when we started to slow down. That, that, now you have recovered to where your economy was. Then you start to grow, and that means taking it become more sustainable, taking it to uh, more sustainable levels than you start to grow. Nigeria's exit from recession reflects the collaborative efforts of the fiscal and monetary authorities, but the outlook now depends on how the authorities proceed from this piece of economic scorecard. Temple Ashaju, Channel Television News. Meanwhile, the federal government is optimistic that the growth of the GDP, which officially marks the nation's exit from recession, is a task that must be handled tactically. The Special Advisor to the President on Economic Matters, Dr. Adeyemi Dipeolu, says the news from the NBS report will boost investors' confidence and help drive spending. 
Dr. Dipperlu was a guest on our political program, Politics Today. Bottomed out, and now we are rising steadily uh, out of negative territory and also now into positive territory. So the first thing, of course, is even just improving the mood and helping people to invest more, and therefore people are no longer taking decisions uh, to try and cut back on expenses. And indeed, as we see time going on, it will reflect in uh, increased uh, uh, employment. But that is usually a lagging indicator. It takes some time uh, for those things uh, to begin to hit people's hands. But in addition, um, as the economy uh, picks up speed, um, what you will expect also is that several parts of the economy, including uh, tax revenues, um, will begin to increase and therefore some of the capital investments being made by government uh, will be able uh, to be of such scale that they will generate employment um, as well. Indeed, um, take the social programs, for instance. If there is a bit more resources, you can also expect a ramping up of the social programs uh, to desired levels. So uh, the impact, as I said, will take a few months, give or take. But the important thing is the improved optimism that comes um, with the upward trajectory of the economy and the willingness of people now to invest rather than hide their money uh, for safety under their mattresses. President Mohamed Buhari's Twitter handle has also been busy since the news of the economic recovery broke. Let's check out some of the tweets from the president. The first tweet says, I am pleased by the news of our emergence from the recession and looking forward to ensuring that the ordinary Nigerian feels the impact. Next, the president says, I'm glad we're starting to see the fruit of our work, but there's still a lot of work to be done. We will not rest until all Nigerians feel the impact. The third tweet says, the real change for Nigerians is an impact that is felt in their lives and in their pockets. We're on the right path and our work continues. And the last tweet reads, until coming out of recession translates into meaningful improvement in people's lives, our work cannot be said to be done. And now to take a further look at this subject, I'm now being joined by an economist, Dr. Bongo Adi of the Pan-Atlantic University in Lagos. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't know whether to congratulate you or to be cautiously <laughs> optimistic as everybody seems to be saying. What do you make of the statistics and what they portend? Yeah, I think um, it is time to be cautiously optimistic as they say. Uh, there is no, no need to be too exuberant about the statistics. Yes, um, it's not a surprise uh, because uh, I think uh, the, the recovery uh, is driven by, you know, if you go back by May this year, the Purchasing Managers Index which actually shows the condition in the, in the output sector turned positive uh, for the first time in, a, in very many months. Uh, so uh, from that May to now, uh, I think, again, uh, uh, GDP is a lagging ind indicator because this is a second quarter GDP and we are you know, about entering to the fourth quarter of the year. So that tells us that the intervention that the central bank uh, made in the foreign exchange market started to be uh, the expected fruits, okay? Also, if we take into consideration the term, time lag. So I guess th those are the conditions that uh, preempted what we're observing now, you know, the economy coming out of recession. But um, like I said, it is not a time to be too exuberant about what is happening, okay? Fine, it's going to boost consumer confidence, and then maybe employment will turn around. But then the last figure we have on unemployment is still very high, 14.2%, and that was in June. That's the latest figure we have from the National Bureau of Statistics. So, now, um, um, I, I'm sorry to butt in, but I, I, I'd like to zero in on a few of the major policies that you think government adopted in the last couple of months that led to this change, that led to Nigeria coming out of recession. What did you think were this some of the major things. The major did. one, the major and the singular factor for me was intervention in the foreign exchange market. Okay, I think that's what has driven this growth because it removed the constraint that manufacturers were uh, experiencing in input sourcing and also repatriation of funds and so on and so forth. But again, uh, we are looking. We, we know that the debt, uh, the, the government debt, is very high, 
And that is what might torpedo this uh, new momentum that we have experienced in the economy right now. Interest rate is also very high, which may, means that investors may not have all the funds they need to invest in the economy. So that is a very, um, I think, um, not so strong indicator when, when it comes to that. Now, um, you, uh, you, you preempted my next question, which was having to do with what could reverse this. I mean, because it's 0.55%. Yeah. It, it it's still quite fragile. Very, very fragile. We're just out of uh, the negative side, so uh, negative territory. That is what it means. But you know, it doesn't mean that, like uh, um, Bismarck was saying earlier on, um, our uh, population is growing at almost 3%, and our economy is at 0.55%. So that is nothing to be optimistic about. Okay? So what can I reverse this? Interest rate is, is still very high. So borrowing, uh, getting funds uh, to finance uh, manufacturing uh, investment and entrepreneurship is still very uh, uh, fragile. Uh, now, uh, finally, uh, and in a few words, what areas have been left that still need to be touched for this to be sustained and for it to move from fragile to sustainable? Interest rates, if I may put it that way. Interest rates, the high interest rate, because right now, um, for every one naira in the GDP, in the, yeah, in, uh, Nigeria has in the budget, 60 Kobo is used in servicing debt. Thank you very much for joining us on the News at 10, Dr. Bongo Adi of the Pan uh, Atlantic University in Lagos. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very us. much.